All right, what's up guys? My name is Thaddeus and in today's video, we're gonna talk about why a lot of you guys are just not generating results or seeing um, you know, the, those first kind of sales that you want to see when you're first starting off before you can scale up and you know, explode your website. And like that's, that's what we're gonna talk about, okay? So let's get into it. Again, the course is closing soon. 25% off code is in the video description right there. Always plug. Uh, there's a video about the course like up here or something like that. Uh, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, like testimonials, all that fun stuff, you click that thing. All right, so let's get into this video. And this one, I want, so what was I just saying? Yeah, so we're gonna talk about, uh, by the way, I'm sick if you can't tell if it sounds weird. I hope it doesn't sound weird, but uh, yeah, I'm sick. Okay, in this video, oh no, my battery is about to die fuck yeah there's no way i'm gonna record this all right gg game over <laughs> i'm gonna have to charge the battery and then come back here or something like that that's fun you know that's always yeah yeah that's always fun sure yeah fuck i'm recording until the battery dies okay so yeah why a lot of you guys are just not getting sales all right one your website sucks ass your grammar is like off um, you use blurry image guys you want to use the highest quality images you possibly can on your website Okay, blurry images is like the number one thing that I see um, That a lot of people like they send me the website and then they're like, okay, check it out Let me know what you think one blurry images like you load the site and they're like what the hell is this? Okay, don't use blurry images Two, grammar is off Okay, if you don't know how to like write proper English or something go to like Fiverr or Fiverr Whatever that's called hire a copywriter for like five dollars literally five dollars to write your website stuff for you and then you can paste that on your website and it looks like ten times better okay because when someone hits your website and they see that it's spelled like things are spelled wrong or they're like sentences are not fluid or something like that you're throwing you're, like, you're throwing that hard-earned traffic that you like paid marketing for to get them to your site you're throwing that right down the drain like they're gonna bounce they're gonna leave your site after five seconds okay that's one thing now the other thing is your marketing is terrible okay what you might be doing wrong is you know uh, like me I always use influencers first right so you might be using the wrong influencers not sourcing them properly Properly. check out that video if you haven't already always plug or if you're in the course you know then like I already go through it all so just say and just say in the courses right there okay so your influencers are not sourced properly okay you're, you're picking shitty influencers or your shout outs are ass okay you're using bad images you're using bad captions and again if you are if you were already using blurry images on your website chances are you might not be using very good quality images on your shout outs okay uh, or just the standard Aliexpress like stock images from those um, from those products right which isn't a terrible thing you can still get sales with those images okay but you just gotta be really careful then you gotta like white label them so it doesn't look like they came from like a website or something like that um, preferably you want to order them and take your own pictures all right that's what I preach and live by you can make content ten times better than what you get online but yeah so your shout outs are either ass your influencers are ass or your website copies as like you can't drive people to your site all right and your shout outs might be good but if your influencers are terrible then there's no traffic all right but the other way around also works like if you find a solid influencer but your shout out is terrible you're not going to drive traffic both of those equate to no traffic okay so you want to make sure that you know what the hell you're doing when you're you know making a shout out and like designing like designing ad copy and designing you know you're getting that picture editing that picture so it looks like it came from your own personal store and people are going to go there and check it out and you know eventually convert one thing too when they hit your site you want either exit intent pop-ups like when they're about to leave your site a pop-up like shows up with a discount code if they enter the email or like follow you on Instagram or something like that right you want something like that you want some sort of pop-up to capture some sort of lead from this person that hit your site you already paid money to get them to your website okay the last thing you want is them just to walk out the door never see them again okay the one way to stop that from happening is if you get some sort of information from them okay have them follow you on Instagram have them like your business Facebook page have them enter their email in some sort of methodology so that they don't just walk right out the door and you never see them again okay that's the worst like that's that's not what you want because you paid money to get them to your website and they may or may not have bought something and if they didn't buy something but they already visited your website it means like they expressed interest already okay so you want to collect those like leads those those warm leads because they've already hit your site so that you can retarget them later with you know either paid ads email marketing or some something of that nature okay now that's like a few reasons why you might not be getting traction there's a lot a lot of things that play into it like a lot of the small things too that I always talk about like remove the power by Shopify thing at the bottom of the screen just have have like good website flow so if you're driving traffic from Instagram right Instagram is very visual it's very boxy or squared for their images when when they hit my sites I keep it sort of the same format so they don't feel out of place or like they don't feel like they just came from like a whole new world okay you you bring them to your site and all my images my whole and we're back this is a DSLR camera that I'm filming on the vlog camera is like right there always carry two cameras on me all right not coming from a whole different world right so if you're sending traffic from Instagram you want them to hit your site and like have them have some form of like similarity to your site. Okay, does, does that does that does that kind of make sense? Instagram is very boxy and visual. When they hit my site, I like to keep it like 
very visual and like sort of like boxy but modern and simple right so they're not actually like boxes and shit but like familiar keep some some essence of familiarity with your website from whatever traffic source you're bringing in, in like bringing them into like whether you're bringing them from Pinterest Facebook Instagram Twitter like whatever you're doing keep some form of familiarity with that okay just a structure and just to make it easier to convert your sales because ultimately continuity between all the different platforms you're on with whatever brand you're building continuity and like flow from each of these is is super super vital just because if if one of them is a little off the customer will get that and they'll be like this is kind of weird why is this different from this even though they're the same company right or they're supposed to be the same company so why is it different okay so that's the questions that they're asking you don't want that to happen to you you want them just to hit your site and be like okay this is awesome I'm buy it i'm spend my credit card done 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 all right done deal so that's what you want to happen all right you don't want to like have them visit your site and then then be like what the hell is this this does not look like what i just like clicked on okay so that's 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 another thing that can hinder um your conversion rates or your, your you know your either whether it be driving traffic to your site or driving you know customers to purchase okay so those are a few things that you can do to stop people or just to to, to increase your your the strength of your website like converting power okay if that if that if that kind of, if that kind of makes sense that's what we're talking about and another thing guys is um, I don't see a lot of people talking about this but making your own content for your website for your social media profiles it's a lot of extra work which is why I, don't, I which is why I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this but I touched on this okay um, it's a lot of extra work but like it's a lot of extra money too that comes in if you if you if you do it right okay so what I'm saying is when you launch a store if you have if you have the patience and the time to wait you know two weeks for your product to arrive to you from Aliexpress I would order most of your products okay order them to your house get a camera take some fucking pictures with them make them look good again in my course I, I I show you how to actually edit these pictures I give you the exact presets that I used for my Instagram page when I was taking pictures and editing them and like throwing them up on there but always plug right always plug so that's what I do like you, you take your own pictures you post them on like you can use these for ads your, your social media your website all this good stuff but it, it makes your brand feel like a lot higher like it puts you like these, these are regular drop shipping stores, right? Right here. This is you. Like you can't even like like we're up here, okay? We out there. So once you have your own content, it brings a whole new level of like brand difference. Like like standing out from all these other drop shippers, okay? Because a lot of people use the AliExpress pictures. Don't get me wrong. They convert. You can you can get away with posting AliExpress pictures on your site and having them sell or like posting them on Facebook ads or posting them on for shoutouts and stuff like that. Okay, I did that when I had no money. But once I got money, I was like, all right, I want this to be better. I want to see if I can make it better. I started making my own content and it's just like conversion shot through the roof because pe like, it feels luxurious. It feels genuine to your brand or it feels like unique to your brand. I think that's a better word. It just feels unique. Okay, so they see your website and they have it like they don't, they don't they haven't seen that picture before. It's not just a bracelet behind a white picture. Um, it's not just, you know, like like a, a cliche like standard like model pic that some of these AliExpress like users like post okay you have your own content you have your own like creative creative vision for whatever brand you're trying to build or just nice pictures in general will change the complete game right because again if you have like a really good website but your marketing is ass then you just have a really good website that's all you have you need both okay you need a good website I just flipped you guys off you need a good website and a good like a marketing strategy and a key point of a good marketing strategy is having good content, good unique creative content. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, guys. Grab a camera, um, take some like take some. Even if you have an iPhone 7 like portrait mode or whatever, like that works too. But if you don't have a camera too, network with photographers. Okay, literally, I'm sure wherever you live, you can find one guy who likes to take pictures. Okay, like become friends with them. I'm not saying use them because that's bad. Don't use people. Okay, but become friends with them and be like hey do you want to take some pictures of me I'm trying to like experiment with like this like this business that I'm trying to start would you be down to like take some cool pictures and edit them or take some cool pictures send them to me so I can edit them or something like that right so do that network guys again networking is so key in the business world y'all better start getting used to it if this is your first entrance into the business world um, cuz obviously like I'm, I'm not here just to teach you guys dropshipping I'm here to teach you guys how to be like successful with everything you fucking do in life okay cuz dropshipping you're not gonna retire off of but dropshipping opens up a thousand other doors if you play your cards right and when you dropship you build connections you build like resources you build a fucking dropshipping empire and you branch out and you start doing other cool shit which is what I've done which is why I try and teach you guys this because it's a fucking cycle it's a process and once you learn the process it's rinse and repeat until you're just like chilling in a car like I am 
talking to a camera because I'm trying to be big on YouTube one day. Subscribe to the vlog channel, by the way. That shit's wild. But yeah, guys, that's why a lot of people aren't just getting sales or they're not they're not doing good on Shopify because they, they leave out the smallest things. They think, all right, I made a website. I added some pictures. I added some products. I bought a shout out on Instagram. I'm done. Where's my money, right? That's not how it works. Like, although I wish it was, like, that'd be super, super easy. That's not how it works, unfortunately. Sad life, right? But but if you do take the time to build out a website, you put the hours in in the very beginning, more hours than you know you want to put in, okay? There's going to be times where you're like, oh, man, I worked on this all day. I should take a break, and I'm done. No, you're not done, okay? Do some more and then take a break, right? When, when, it, when you're reaching that point of like, all right, I think I've done enough for today. No, you haven't done enough for today. You still got two more hours, broski. So that's what I'm saying. Put in the work in the beginning because Shopify is not like an instant. Shopify can be very, very profitable right from the start, but you have to put in the hours building your site first, which is why if you haven't started your 14 free, or once you start your 14 day free trial, if you're already like almost expiring, Okay, and you, you haven't figured out your site, you haven't found influencers, you haven't sourced influencers yet, you haven't like developed a marketing strategy or plan, trash that, okay? Start it, like put a new email in on Shopify, start a new trial and have a plan from the get-go. 14 days should be more than enough time, guys, but if you're just starting out, 14 days is like the perfect amount of time to get a, a website like ready to go live and have everything prepped, influencers prepped, campaigns prepped, products prepped, images, captions, ad copy, all that good stuff. 14 days is more than enough time, okay? Especially if you're like dedicated and you're passionate and you really want to like be successful at dropshipping, 14 days is more than enough time, okay? So that was the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you also enjoyed. I respond to all the comments, so just comment something because I respond to you, I promise. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. We're growing pretty fucking fast and <coughs> I'm super sick. All right, guys. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. The course is closing soon. If you haven't joined already, there's a 25% off code. That's the biggest code I'm going to like be giving out ever before it closes up. Um, I just want to like incentivize you guys um, to hop in. If you are on the fence, I have so many people on the fence right now in my Instagram DMs that I have to get back to. But if you're watching this right now and you haven't made the move, now is the time to make the move. All right, 20% off code right there in the video description. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace.